offered for the souls of Gabriel Raj Philomena Mabai given by Anthony Raj family thanksgiving by Navin Anita Nirma Harry Wilson Asha Joyce Jr Anthony given by Jr Anthony family for the soul of Chinnappa Elizabeth Mary Philomena BC Joseph uh, C Mariana offered by BC Raju and family on the wedding anniversary of biju pa biju raul and uh, pretty biju offered by bindu nibin and family thanksgiving on the birthday of bindu nibin by the family members for all souls in the purgatory by archana cecilia both family for the good performance of uh, Turin Nibin in SSLC exam offered by the family members. For the soul of Cyril de Souza by Elvina Norona family. For the intentions of Dr. Lydia for healing and restoration of health. For the soul of Winifred Fernando offered by Bennett V. Ryan and family for the intentions of the Legion of Mary English and also for speedy recovery from back pain of Bindu of Davangare. <clears throat> In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the 
inheritance which you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 34, verses 1 to 12. In those days, Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is opposite Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land, Gilead, as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah, as far as the Western Sea, the Negev and the plain, that is, the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, as far as Zoar. And the Lord said to him, This is the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. I will give it to your offspring. I have let you see it with your eyes, but you shall not go over there. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord, and he buried him in the valley, in the land of Moab, opposite Beth, Beth Peor. But no one knows the place of his burial to this day. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was undimmed and his vigor unabated. And the people of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab for 30 days. Then the days of weeping and mourning for Moses was ended. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom for Moses had laid his hands on him. So the people of Israel obeyed him, and he did as the Lord had commanded Moses. And there has not arisen a prophet since in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, none like him for all the signs and the wonders that the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land, and for all the mighty power and all the great deeds of terror that Moses did in the sight of all Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Sam, your response shall be, blessed be God who gave life to my soul. Blessed be God, who gave life to my soul. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. O sing to the glory of his name. O render him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome your deeds. Your response? Blessed be God, who gave life to my soul. Come and see the works of God. Awesome his deeds among the children of men. O peoples, Bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound. Your response? Blessed be God who gave life to my soul. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud with exultation ready on my tongue. Your response? Blessed be God who gave life to my soul. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. <coughs> and Matthew with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, can I ask you something? Please tell me some of the personalities in the Bible, particularly in the Old Testament, who are spoken of or reflected upon or praised about more than any other personalities in the Old Testament? Can you give me one? Joseph. Abraham. David. Samuel. Jacob. Isaac. Among these personalities, whom do you like more? How many of you vote for Moses? There is no politics here, I'm just asking you, okay? Don't be afraid. So how many of you for Moses? Okay, thank you so much. That means very few are there. Abraham? Wow, Abraham. Um, Joseph of the Old Testament, okay, right, Isaac, mm -hmm. not spoken much, Jacob, we have heard Jacob, already, okay, already spoken. <clears throat> For me, Moses stands as an outstanding person among all others because he has done he has spoken, he has written, and he has experienced God more than all the other personalities or celebrities in the Old Testament. The Passover meal, the coming in of Jesus Christ, his teaching, his miracles, and his passion, death, resurrection, all related to, all are related to Moses. From the time of the slavery to the slavery relieved by Jesus Christ on the cross is all related. So Moses is a prototype of Christ Jesus. That's why I said, I like Moses more than all other personalities. Right from the time he left Egypt till his death, he is there contacting and communicating God so personally, so intimately, and so deeply as a friend communicating with a friend. So Moses is highly honored. Today we are speaking about the end of Moses. It's something very novel. Moses dies at the age of 120. Maybe for his caliber, 
120 could have been or it is much less. You could have lived more. Even in today's age, people are living 110, 115. If you go to some northern areas, right, or even Gulf areas, there are people who are still lingering around 120 and above. So Moses dying at the age of 120 is not much. Besides, Moses died at the region called Moab, where he had a direct communication with God. On the Mount Horeb, he saw first God in the burning bush. In the Mount uh, Sinai or Sinai or Sinai, he received the Ten Commandments. On the Moab, Moses dies. And uh, another point that we find here is, until this day, which means if Moses had to write this point at the time of his death, because we know five books were written by Moses, so there is a controversy, there is a conflict. How could Moses write about his death that he dies and was buried in, uh, on the Mount Moab, and yet the, body, the place of his burial is not known today to everybody or anyone. So it is a something mysterious. Someone could have had it after Moses writing the book of Torah. Right? What is the reading today? It is from the Deuteronomy. Okay? The last book is what? Deuteronomy. Isn't it? So the last passage could have been scribbled by somebody else. Now, <clears throat> another thing here we could find here is Moses was not allowed to enter into the promised land. <clears throat> That's another, uh, how do I say, a point for our reflection. Why Moses was not allowed in, to enter into the promised land? Anyone? Because of his? Uh, not really anger. Whose anger? Um, no, not really that. Why he was not allowed by God to enter into the promised land? After all, he, re he sowed, okay, but he was not reaping to the full the fruit of his journey of liberation. There's one point somewhere you can find. Come again? Very good. That's the point. God told him to strike the rock, but Moses almost had an apprehension. So he had to strike twice. God's, uh, I, mean, uh, I know, the faith of Moses in God was almost uh, a thought second. That is why God must have penalized Moses by, by not allowing him to get into that beautiful promised land of milk and honey. I end here saying, God has his own way. At times we sow and work hard, but we don't get the uh, fruit of it, the, um, the effect of it, the end result. So God has his own way. So, Moses is a very good personality. If you know him, how much he suffered leading the people towards the promised land, how much oppositions and murmurings he had to face. He was a wonderful prophetic person, a law giver, a law receiver, law maker, law practitioner and law follower, a law obedient. So many virtues you could um, attribute to Moses. That is why I said one of the best or the best personality of the Old Testament is Moses. When Jesus appeared, I mean transfigured on the Mount Tabor, who was there with him? 
Moses, not Abraham, not Jacob, not Isaac, not even David, not even Solomon, not even Samuel. It was Moses, very next to Elia or Elijah, the prophet. So Jesus is replica of Moses, true Moses, and Moses is the replica or the prototype of Jesus, the Redeemer. Let us honor Moses. Have name of Moses to your family, children. Don't keep different names which have no connectivity at all with our scripture. Moses is a beautiful name. Hardly we come across the name Moses. Thank God we have one Abraham. I, here, here at the altar, our Abraham. Okay? Isaac, I don't find anyone here. There are Jacobs among uh, Kerala brethren. Among the other communities, very few. And uh, Samuel, there are few. But Moses hardly heard. So, Moses, a very great personality, celebrity, have his name. God will bless that person. When Moses could speak to God so personally, was he not uh, Greatest personality, one of the greatest personalities in the Old Testament? Yes, indeed. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for a great man like Moses. He died on the mount plains of Moab, whose burial ground is tall, uh, not still known. We don't know the mystery behind you keeping him aside from the sight of the people even after his death. Sometimes this gives us an impression that you would have been taken up to heaven after his death. So many things are said about Moses. Thank you, Lord, for this great person who lived to, the, to his end, obeying you, following you, guiding the people, and make us also be like Moses in guiding, blessing, leading, liberating, saving, and obeying your word. Amen. On this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love, O oh Lord. On this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love. With this bread and wine we come to this Eucharistic feast. On this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love. Bread to be your body, Lord. Wine to be your saving blood. On this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by our power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right <coughs> and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks 
Lord, Holy Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out on his stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we praise you as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed a holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, a saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, Gabriel Raj, Philomena Mabai, M. Chinnappa, Elizabeth, Mary Philomena, B.C. Joseph, C. Mariamma, Cyril D'Souza, and Winifred Fernando, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in our life, we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. You may stand. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jerusalem, glorify the Lord, who gives you your fill of finest wheat. Psalm 147, verse 12. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm in us the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We have uh, Bindu Nibin, who does very good reading always, celebrates her birthday. She's here? Ah, yes. Wonderful person. For her ministry, we thank. And also, we have a wedding anniversary of Biju Paul uh, and uh, Pretty Biju. Are they here? Okay. Anyway, you my take them. Uh? My brother. Your brother. Okay, you take the credit also. Put your hands together for her and a happy birthday Thank and you. a happy uh, wedding anniversary for your brother. Just to remind you, my brothers and sisters, about the Sunday's program at 11 o'clock special mass in view of the uh, Independence Day and the Feast of Assumption. So we are going to have a very grand celebration. I invite you all to be there 
okay, at 11 o'clock, followed by lunch also for everyone. So please make it convenient to be there to celebrate and to pray for our beloved nation. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. i